Blacklist Industries versus S3F Solutions versus OEM. Which one should you do? You guys know I've already done the review and the giveaway on the S3F Solutions barrel. We just gave away the Glock 19 one. I mean, the Glock 17 one. Now we're giving away the Glock 19 Titanium Nitride. But before I give it away, I wanted to do a comparison because I got the Blacklist Industries barrel uh, just recently, and I've been testing it out for about a month now. Um, there are some differences that I think that you guys should know about, and as well as price differences, there's different options, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an unboxing of both of them, so you see what you get in the box. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you my results um, from accuracy. Granted, I have tennis elbow like really bad right now. My accuracy sucks right now, dude, it's horrible, um, because it affects my grip, like even right now, ow, that hurts. Um, but so my accuracy is horrible, so please don't mind the stupid target, but I can usually punch a hole out in the center, but I was all over the place. However, um, they are consistent results with what I, um, tested prior to doing this comparison. Um, so some people are really about these, uh, barrels. Some people think that they're just tactical Jolly Ranchers, so to speak, you know, they're just stuff to make you look good, make you feel like you're getting better. Um, but we're going to look at the results. Let's dive up close, do an unboxing of both of these, and we'll talk about the price differences. I'm going to put affiliate links in the description. If you, if you guys don't want to enter to win the Glock 19 giveaway, uh, there'll be a link to that video as well. So you guys can enter this giveaway, but if you don't want to enter the giveaway, um, affiliate links will be in the description along with, um, coupon codes for you. So you guys can save some money if this is something you want to buy. All right, party people. So what we have is the Glock 19 S3F Solutions barrel and the Blacklist Industries barrel. Um, both of them are titanium nitrided and except for the Blacklist is threaded. So first, let's do the unboxing because I want to show you what you get for what you pay for these and compare them to one another. So first, let's do this one. So this is the fluted titanium nitrided Glock 19 S3F Solutions barrel. Now this one has been used. I'm just going to show you what it looks like when you buy them. Mine has a little bit of wear right there on the S, a little bit on the lugs at the top um, by the chamber, a little bit on this front lip, and uh, a little bit on these lugs. But I will say, you'll always get this mark here, just so you know. Uh, Guys, I just want to give you guys just a quick insight. You do not buy these barrels gold. Like, what do I mean by that? Well, they don't purposely paint these gold. This is titanium nitriding. And what that is, is it's a hardening process of the steel. And the gold color is a byproduct of the um, hardening process. So it's not like these companies are like, I just want to make gold barrels. No. It makes the steel harder and allows it to wear at a slower rate. So that's why these are gold. Uh, these things are hard to find. I'm not going to lie because these companies make them in batches and then they ship all those batches out to the retailers and they get sold out before a new batch can be made. So let's show you that. So there it is in my Glock 19. I actually think it looks good. Some people think it looks too gaudy, but I love it. It looks really amazing. Look at that. Boom. So these uh, 416R stainless steel, it has pulled broach rifling and a supported chamber. What that means is you can shoot lead bullets out of this and you can shoot hand reloads because the chamber is supported. Whereas on the OEM Glocks, they have polygonal rifling and an unsupported chamber. What that means is you're gonna get more reliable feeding from the Glock 19 OEM barrel, but you're gonna sacrifice some accuracy because of that. However, with these, I've had zero issues um, for feeding or reliability. 
probably close to 1400 rounds through this barrel right now. Blacklist knocked it out of the park with their packaging. They, they, they far surpass S3F Solutions. Give you this beautiful, look at this, just like a Pelican case almost, it's got the seal on it. And then you open it up and it's like warm. They give you all kinds of cool swag stickers, gun lube to help you lube your barrel for the first time. Then there's even a P, uh, PVC patch in here. So you guys can uh, put it on your bags or whatever. And then here's the barrel itself. Same thing, 416R stainless steel. Um, they got the pulled brooch rifling. Oh, both of these barrels have a one in 10 twist rate. Mechanically speaking, these barrels are identical. They got the same twist rates, the same types of steel, uh, the same types of threading and the same color. Now, there is some differences in the way that the color reflects light with these. Let me show you that. For the S3F Solutions barrel, it's a little bit more shiny. It has almost like a, a deeper, rich color to it. Whereas the Blacklist almost has like a more yellowy look. And I figured out the reason. It's because they polish, S3F Solutions polishes the barrel after it's been titanium nitrided. The S3, uh, the Blacklist, it's more of a satin finish. So if you look at it, there's no glare to it. I actually kind of like the Blacklist a little bit more. Um, on the fluting, you're gonna get more flutes. See the little stripes here? This is fluting. It makes the barrel a little bit lighter and helps it dissipate heat faster. On the S3F Solutions, you're gonna get, I think, four flutings. On this one, you got eight. So I like that they went the extra mile with this. I love the threaded barrel part. Um, that was the main reason I got this barrel was because I really want to be able to test compensators and suppressors in the future, and I need a threaded barrel. Beautiful threading on it. Um, they also got, they got the different ones, the half by 28, then they got another one. I forgot what it is, but it is on the, uh, for the 40 cal. Now this one, same kind of wear marks. You're going to get a little wear here, a little bit on the lugs. I got a little bit on the front here and it is ran like a champ. Now, I don't know guys if it's just me or maybe other people have had this issue. I'm a little... This one, in my opinion, with me, the way I shoot, has been more accurate than this one. And I don't know why. So, let's talk about another thing. Color. With the S3F Solutions, you have three choices. You can get the titanium nitride, you can get stainless steel, or you can get black nitride. With the Blacklist Industries, you get four choices. You can get the titanium nitride, the stainless steel, the black, or they have this new one, I, it's called like a chameleon color where when the light hits it, it actually shifts colors. Um, I forgot what they call it, but I'm calling it the chameleon color shifting color. <laughs> but yeah, so these right here, it doesn't matter what color you buy, the non-threaded version is going to be $205. That's it. If you get the threaded, they add five bucks. That's not too bad. With S3F Solutions, on the other hand, the titanium nitrides, um, I believe the non-threaded are about $220 and the threaded's I believe are $225 to $230. Now where you really do save money though with S3F is when you go for the stainless steel. The stainless steel version can be had for around $165 and I think the black nitrided one is less than $200. So I would say if you're gonna go with a titanium nitrided barrel, go with Blacklist, it's gonna save you some money. Um, but if you wanna go with the black or the stainless steel, go with um, S3F Solutions as it will save you some money. Now, let's go over my accuracy chart. Now, please excuse my accuracy because like I said, I have tennis elbow. Now with this, I used the Berries um, 147 grain Remanufactured ammo from Fog Ammunition. These guys have been awesome. They've hooked us up and this ammo is really accurate. Now, cause I've been testing it since before I had tennis elbow and it has ran like a champ. One great thing about this company is every single bullet is hand inspected before it leaves the factory. 
You just don't get that anywhere else. Now, prior to having tennis elbow, I was really accurate with these. So let me show you this chart. On the left side, I did freehand. On the right side, I used a support, and I was at 30 feet for all of these. Now, like I said, please excuse my accuracy here. On the left side, I started with the OEM barrel. I aimed right here. All of my rounds hit right here. This is with OEM, 147 grain, right? Now, granted, I have tennis elbow. That's what was throwing a lot of it off. With the S3F Solutions, I aimed for this, and I got this group of four. With the blacklist, however, I aimed, these are flyers from somewhere else, uh, when I was aiming here for something else, but this is my group for the blacklist. I got way more shots in the black with the blacklist. So I got three that key hold here, one kind of off, and then two here in the black. So far, tighter group, this is freehand. Then I went in reverse order. I shot OEM here, and you can see my group just a little bit to the left. Moving on up, S3F Solutions. I got one, two, three in the black, plus one almost there. And don't mind uh, this arrow because, uh, oh yeah, this arrow went up there. That was a flyer. And then here's this one. Now, moving on up, I did the blacklist. Now these are all from support. I got a lot more in the black with the blacklist. Now I'm gonna say, guys, I'm gonna do this test again because I don't think this is a fair test given that I have tennis elbow right now because I can't hit anything that I can typically hit when I'm feeling well. So yeah, guys, that was my results. It seemed like that this one was just a hair bit more tighter than this one. If you are gonna get one of these barrels, run 147 grain through it. 115 grain will not run right. You won't notice a difference between the OEM barrel and these as far as accuracy with 115 grain. You start throwing the 147 grain into them or the plus P 147 grain, then that's gonna be where it really just shines. I also put a coupon code for the ammunition in the description below, and you can get $10 off as well as free shipping when you buy $150 or more worth of product from fogammo.com. So big shout out to Fog Ammo for providing the ammunition for this test. Um, I'm gonna do another test, like I said, as soon as my elbow feels better, but freaking tennis elbow, from what I understand, takes a long time to heal. So here, give you an idea of how that one looks. I do like the gold appearance of this one better, as it looks more richer, but I like the performance of the blacklist myself. So let's dive up top and we'll wrap this pig up. So there you have it, folks. S3F Solutions versus Blacklist Industries. Well, what are my thoughts? Well, I'll tell you this. I've, I've only been into custom, doing custom Glock stuff for like, like less than a year. So I'm not an expert. Please believe me, I'm not. So you're not going to notice the difference in accuracy like you did when you first upgraded your sights, right? I remember back a year ago, I got the Trigicon HDs, right? Put them on my gun instantly noticed an accuracy improvement. Then I bought the Zevtech drop-in trigger, even better results. So I saw the difference really quickly. Um, just one thing to note, the S3F Solutions barrel needed about a thousand rounds to break it in before I noticed really um, accuracy differences. Blacklist didn't need that thousand round break-in period. This, this pig right here, dead nuts accurate right out of the box. This is a completely unnecessary modification, but it's awesome. If you want to compete or if you just want to, you just want some tactical swag. I mean, it's expensive, but hey, if you like it, go buy it. It's your money. Um, would I buy this? Would, if I was going to buy one with my own money, which one would it be? Blacklist, hands down. And especially knowing what I know about it now, I would go ahead and get the threaded version. Um, I feel that if you ever wanted to use compensators or maybe if the Hearing Protection Act is passed, um, you can have, you know, and buy suppressors without the NFA, then it'd be, it would be wise to have one just so you can put stuff on it in the future. That's just my opinion though. If you're all about color and you like the rich gold, go with this one. I, got, I just gotta tell you guys, I got both of these for free to do the review. Um, so I don't have any money in these. 
So I can give you, I feel like is an unbiased, um, recommendation on which one that I prefer. Uh, so this is my unbiased blacklist. Boom. I feel like you get a better package. I think that it shows a lot about this company when they can give you an awesome case. They give you gun lube, stickers, and a PVC patch versus blister packs. You know what I mean? To me, this shows, don't get me wrong, this is no reflection on S3F. I understand you got to keep costs down. Totally get that. But to me, when you look at this and you look at this, you know what I mean? It's like dollar store versus Sears. So yeah, guys, this is my review of it. I definitely like it. Don't waste your money thinking it's going to make you dead nuts accurate because it's not. Now, if you're a more experienced shooter and you want to take things to the next level, then definitely go get this. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for everything. Coupons, uh, affiliate links, everything will be in the description below. And I love you guys and you guys take care.